Welcome to the Wisconsin Deer Metrics System. This short video provides a brief overview of how to quickly and easily access the system and discover a wide variety of information about Wisconsin's whitetail deer herd and its management. To use the system, you simply start at the DNR main page and type in keyword deer metrics. This will take you to the Deer Metrics launch page. Once at the launch site, simply pick the county you're most interested in and you're ready to explore. So we'll start out by picking Green Lake County, and this will bring you to the main page of the metrics. So you'll notice that there are basically four main headings. Those fall under harvest and population, deer herd health, deer impacts, and hunter dynamics. So once you're within one of the main headings, all of the system works pretty much the same way. So we can do a demonstration and we'll select harvest trends. Recall that we selected Green Lake County. You can change your county at any time. Pick a new county if you'd like to. And you'll notice that a variety of information come up specific to harvest information. So we're showing total antlered and antlerless harvest for the county, private land harvest, public land harvest, weapon types of gun, bow, and crossbow. If you select the data button, you'll get the same information, but in a spreadsheet format. Now, if you're unsure as to how to use a metric, there's a variety of information right over here on the side, and you can click on these. It will give you background specific to the information, how the information was collected, how to use the metrics and interpret it, limitations and precautions of using the metric, any kind of future needs that the department has identified that would enhance this metric, and then any additional background materials related to the metric. Specific to the deer management unit that you're exploring, you can also find very specific information regarding total area, hunter densities, and other useful information. You can also find a deer management unit map. You can also take a historical look at all the deer management units in the state and what the season structure looked like for any specific year. Going back to the home page, we can see the same type of format to look at population statistics and trends, as well as antlerless permit issuance and success for the county. Our next heading of deer health primarily covers winter severity index, and this of course will be done on a statewide basis, but there are maps available so that you can look at general indexes for the area that you're most interested in as well as disease information, which for the most part covers chronic wasting disease within the county. Again, if there is special information about the county, you can find that on the left side. This county in particular has extra information about EHD within the unit, so there may be some special other sick animal or disease related information provided. Going back to the home page again and down to our third category of deer impacts, this is broken down primarily by forest resources, agricultural damage information, and car deer collision information. Moving to our final category of hunter dynamics, you can look at a variety of information of hunter surveys, as well as information that hunters report of animals seen while they are hunting. One final feature of this is that you can print a report. So you can pick your county again, and you can go to create a report which will provide for you a basic set of metrics within each county. And again, it's much of the same information you've just seen. A map, a description, information about deer harvest within the county, overall historic harvest within the county, buck harvest, success rates on permits, herd abundance, agriculture impacts, and more. So as you can see, the Wisconsin Deer Metric System puts a great deal of information at your fingertips. I hope you find the system easy to navigate and enjoyable to use as you learn more about your favorite county.